gonna talk about blue tops. Mm -hmm. Blue tops. Are you ready? If you're new to my channel, welcome. My name is Yabira, and I do blue bottom videos because I am obsessed with it, and I love like teaching. Um. <laughs> Girl. But anyways, let's not get distracted, okay? So, basically, talk about blue tops, okay? When I was a student, I learned the order of draw, but I thought it was not real because I thought there was no way for them to find out. Like, for example, if I draw something wrong, but absolutely, especially nurses, they do it wrong all the time, so we have to call them and tell them to do a redraw, okay? But the reason why, oh my god, you guys, let me just tell you. Each test, okay, has a department that they go to, okay? So all blue tops go to a department, okay? All red tops go to, you know, certain departments and so on and so on, okay? But each tube, you could probably not tell, but this one's a very, very great example. As you can see the little liquid inside, that's called your additive, okay? So each tube has an additive, okay? So your each department has a scientist, your CLS, okay? Your the clinical laboratory scientist. They are the smartest people and the coolest people in the world, okay? Become friends with them. They're awesome. But anyhow, they are smart, meaning that they know. They will know that you actually did wrong, okay? They will definitely know. So do it right, okay, from the first time. So what you need to know is that blue tops are always first, my friend. When you draw, this is first in your order of draw, okay? Number one, remember, blue, the sky. I don't know, but blue, okay? Blue is number one. Always remember, blue is number one. And, and what you must know is that this tube, okay? Pay attention. This tube is the only tube that has to be filled to the little line that it might be hard to see. But please remember and pay attention next time you put your hands on a blue top. I want you to really pay attention that there is a line right here on the top right here. You can probably not see it, but trust me, it's there. And what you need to know about blue tops is that it will, okay? It will get rejected even if it's below, it's slightly below, rejected, okay? So what you need to know is that the this, from all of these, this is the only tube that they're very strict for a reason, okay? That's why it has a little line, okay? nurses will you might catch them send like a short sample you have to call them and tell them the bad news the sad news bad news you know it's a very very sad story <laughs> but on this video i'm teaching you to do it right okay so do not okay let's pretend that it's a very hard draw and you actually got a short sample i'm sorry but you better put your gloves on back again take a deep breath and try again okay and it has to be a, a sample up to the little line promise you if you forget you're probably going to learn it eventually because they will reject it and you're going to have to go again. You don't want to go again, okay? You do not. But it happens, to be honest. Just remember to be careful if um, you don't want a short sample, okay? So if you use a butterfly and a straight needle, of course, it's going to be short because of the air, okay? I hope that makes sense. But if you use a butterfly and a syringe, no problem. Of course, you're going to have enough to put it in here. But all you have to do is to make sure that you fill it up to the line, okay? It has to be completely to the... Okay, so this is one of the mistakes that I did. Um, as you can see, this one has a gel, okay? The whole point of using the centrifuge, this one has to be centrifuge before you take it to the department that it belongs to, okay? You need to, or they do it for you. You just take it to the, to the CLS and they do it for you. But the whole point that I wanted to tell you is that I want you to notice a difference, okay? This one has a gel, this one doesn't. So when you take it out, out of the centrifuge, you need to hold it literally like this, okay? Because if not, if you, by mistake, you grab it and you go like this sideways, you for sure will mix the red cells, okay? And that's what you don't want, okay? That's why it gets centrifuge, because you want all of the cells to stay at the bottom. So when you grab it, just a quick tip, if you happen to remember, grab it very, slowly and keep it like this and then sometimes you have to walk a little distance to take it to the department depends where you work hold it very like like this and you take it to the department okay so the difference is that a specimen a tube with a gel that means that you could grab a bunch of them and you don't have to worry about you could grab them all like this like all like this for example 
and this one you can't you have to grab it like all gentle and up like this <laughs> it's crazy and then you have to do this with um just i'm getting ahead of myself but you have to do this with red tops too because it does not have a gel as you can see okay if it has a gel you don't have to worry about it. it's the best thing because you could go like this it doesn't matter nothing mixes no more because the gel so blue tops since we're talking about blue tops you do centrifuge this this is very important okay you need to know because some tests are whole blood okay that means that you just as is you give it to the scientists they run it no this one you need to spin it down so okay. if you're still here that's good for you because right here i'm going to tell you the common test for blue tops okay these are the very common that you will memorize over time don't worry but just to give you a head start pro time okay pro time is very common ptt super common okay d dimer oh blue top okay blue top and fibrogen okay if you remember if you try to memorize these you will be golden because in your interview they might ask you something like if doctor orders a ptt and a cbc what will you draw first and in this case the answer is absolutely blue first okay they will ask you what color to to draw first so that's why you need to know the order of draw and in this case you already know that it's blue why because i already talked about it in this video blue is number one okay blue is actually a beautiful color think about the sky okay think about the sky number one okay oh number one so if you memorize that pro time ptt d dimer if you memorize those for sure it's a blue and all you have to remember is that it has to be filled to the line right here. And now let's go ahead and talk about red tops. So click on this video because you need to learn. I'm going to tell you everything that you need to know about all of the order draw. Okay, this, this will be a playlist once it's completely done. Okay, so whoever new phlebotomists come, it will be easier for them. And I wish I had, a, you know, videos like this when I was a student and I'm so glad that I'm doing them now. So yeah, this is your blue top and it's so cute. And yeah, let's go ahead and watch it. Watch it right now. Okay. And if it's not ready that yet, it's because it's, you know, you have to wait until two days or three or something like that. 